Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today we are talking about the Uniqlo round mini shoulder bag which is basically the like Uniqlo viral TikTok bag. I recently filmed a video about my Ugg Tasman slippers and that was quite well received so I thought maybe we'd make this into a bit of a series. I don't often have overly viral products. I'm not a designer girly so I don't have designer bags so I'm not going to suddenly start reviewing designer it handbags. However, if I do have kind of more affordable pieces that I think are going quite viral online, I think I'm going to start reviewing them and kind of giving my two cents as to whether they're worth it or not. Like I said, they are, they are going to be probably all under the £100 price point I would guess just because I very, very, very rarely spend over £100. But today I am talking about a super affordable handbag which is this Uniqlo bag which is £14.99 which just seems crazy but before we get started hi I am Sabrina I talk about largely fashion and beauty on here a few other things here and there but if it does sound like something you'd be interested in don't forget to subscribe I'm also going to try and slow down this video a little bit because some of you have commented on the fact that I talk quite fast and it's true I can 100% not deny that um, and it's something that I have to be a bit more mindful of. I do also have notes on my phone, so if I'm looking down at that, that is why. But like I said, this is the Uniqlo round mini shoulder bag. It's super affordable. It's actually not £14.99. Currently, it's £14.90. I do suspect Uniqlo might put the price up because I feel like that's just what happens when anything is overly popular. This one, I think, is like a khaki one. I'm not sure what the official, official colour of this one is, but I did actually get this one for Christmas as a gift. It's a one size bag. They say it fits all your essentials, even a water bottle and a book, can be worn crossbody style, perfect keeping belongings protected from elements thanks to a water repellent finish. Now this is the new material. I think the ones that were made previously were in a material that wasn't water resistant, but this one is. The, the shell is made 100% of polyamide and then also the inside is made of a polyester. And the reason that they went for polyamide, I assume, is because it is very water resistant, which is very durable, very similar to polyester, but just more water resistant. Just like polyester, made from a non-renewable source. In terms of cleaning, it says don't dry clean. Wipe gently with a dampened cloth. And actually day one of me wearing this, I thought I got a stain on it, but I don't. And Uniqlo is a fast fashion brand. A fast fashion brand that actually I do shop at quite a lot. Um, I try not to shop too much fast fashion, but I find that where Uniqlo differs is that A, the quality is generally quite good, and B, and what I think is very, very important is that they don't, they're not launching new products every other week. This bag's been around for a while. They don't have 50 different types of bags. It's generally, I think it's this one, and maybe like one other style. I, I find that their clothes are largely very classic styles, decent materials, last quite well. And basically I don't think they are kind of really pushing you to buy new things all the time because everything is such a classic shape and colour. Initially I thought this was a bum bag with a little, um, like, I don't know what to call this, <laughs> buckle? It's not really a buckle, but a thing to a, a plastic, oh I should know the name of this, I can't remember. Anyway, a plastic one of these to make it small, bigger and smaller. But it's not really a bum bag necessarily, it doesn't have a clip like a regular bum bag does. Most people do wear it like this. Typically it's how people wear bum bags nowadays, I think. Um, if you're in a big city like I am in London, it's really comforting to have your bag very close to you. Um, everything is right here if you need to look inside your bag. The fact that you can make this much longer really very quickly is great because sometimes I have bigger coats. You can wear it as a saddle bag, I guess, um, on your shoulder. I actually don't really love the look of this. I don't think it's the worst, but I think it's just a little bit too long for that in my opinion. And then you can also wear it like a classic crossbody, which again, not my favorite, but you can make it much longer and wear it across you like this. Typically how I've seen people wear it and how the only way I've personally worn it is as a bum bag but across my body like this. Inside it has two pockets. My bag's really full but let's look past that. It does have just two pockets on either side. Honestly I haven't really used those pockets that much because the bag still feels small enough that you're not rummaging around it. But this bag has very much taken off because it fits so much and honestly it does it really does fit a lot in here right this minute i have an umbrella so i have my purse some tissue an umbrella headphones a, a comb some um hand sanitizer some strepsils and then the rest is kind of tacked to have a tea bag and some receipts i could easily fit in here a bottle of water i feel like i should show you to prove it i just don't know where 
I'm gonna grab a bottle of water. So I haven't removed anything from the bag. Here is a bottle of water. And as you can see, it fits very comfortably. I actually thought I was gonna have to do a bit of rejigging and I didn't. I actually think I could fit this book and a bottle of water and an umbrella and my purse. I'm gonna rejig because I feel like this is quite an ask for such a small bag. Okay, it's a very weird shape, but in here I have my water bottle, a book, and an umbrella. And like this is a decent sized book and a decent sized water bottle, and it fits. This bag really does fit a lot in it, I, and that's very much why it's blown up. So finally, do I think it's worth it? At £14.90, of course I do. I, I think it's a great bag. I think almost anyone could use it. Of course it's very casual, but for a day-to-day -day basis, whether, whether it be in the summer or the winter, I think I'm gonna use this bag lots. Um, I probably wouldn't have bought it for myself, I don't think. I'm so, so happy I have it. And actually, I, I have people in my life that I think would really benefit from this bag. Specifically my mum, I don't, I think it might be a bit casual for her. But I just think it's great because it does fit so much stuff in it. And it is so small and it's so close to you that it's just by far the most convenient bag I have. It's not a tote bag. I'm not going to take this to do like a big, huge clothing haul. But... Um, I definitely put canvas bags in this and it's big enough to have like canvas bags and an umbrella and my water bottle so it's just a very very practical bag in my opinion I think finding the right colour is hard because at the moment they have like a really light cream one and a blue one personally I'm not crazy about either colour but I think it's important to wait it out for the right colour because I really don't think it's worth having more than one of these in my opinion i've seen people have like four five six of these basically every color they can get their hands on and i just think that seems so pointless i think it's just nice to have like a neutral ish color that will go with almost everything it almost doesn't matter if it doesn't go perfectly with your outfit in my opinion but at the end of the day this is a fast fashion bag it's such an iconic bag for the moment that i think maybe in five years time we're not going to love them as much or want to wear them as much which is why i think it's such a shame that people are wear buying so many of them so they can wear them with different outfits realistically i don't think people are really matching it with their outfits anyway so i think 100 buying one of these is definitely worth it i do not think it's worth buying five of these i think it's worth just waiting out for the right color for you but I really really like this like I said I wouldn't have bought this for myself but it was a good gift and I am very very happy with it and I'm wearing it lots and I really think I'll wear it lots in spring and summer as well the other thing I will say is that a lot of people online have said that they would really like a leather version just so it's a bit smarter I don't think I would buy a leather version to be completely honest I think this really lends itself to a very lightweight material that you can make as small as possible, it, it, there's stuff in here that's why I can't make it smaller than this and you can just like throw in a bag and I think taking away the casualness of this bag would take away from the actual bag itself in my opinion who knows, maybe if they did release a leather one I would buy it but now I'm going to show you a couple of outfits that I would style with this bag honestly I, I think almost anything goes with this, I'm not going to wear this bag to our wedding but on a day to day basis I would wear this bag with almost anything and I have done and I'm really really enjoying it Okay, so this is my most worn outfit at the moment, I would say, and I very much wear it with this bag across my body, just casual. I mean, all these outfits are going to be casual. In in terms of like colour, it's not, it doesn't match with anything I'm wearing, but it's like a nice neutral tone, so I think it still looks quite nice. The one thing I will say is that I do find that my coat kind of does this as the day goes on, but I think that's an issue with the coat rather than the bag. Maybe a bit of both, I guess. Okay, outfit number two. I actually don't think these are the most flattering trousers, but I actually really do like this outfit. Got a pair of Converse on, and then um, I have a creamy pair of trousers, a stripy top, second stripy top of this video, but I really like a stripy top. And then I've just thrown this bag over the top. Kind of more springy, it'd be too cold to wear this at the moment. An outfit I definitely think I am going to wear. Again, kind of this colour isn't really in my outfit, but I think it kind of works. It's kind of similar-ish tone to my trousers. My trousers are a little bit smarter, but then everything else is quite casual. So I think this works. And then this is a final outfit I'm going to show you because honestly I feel like I'm just showing you a very similar outfit. I basically think this goes with almost anything. Kind of get, when I was getting dressed, there were kind of a couple of colours that I didn't think this particular bag necessarily went with but almost anything in my wardrobe i would wear with this like i said obviously it has to be slightly more casual largely it goes with everything um even if i show you so like for example this is probably what i'm gonna wear today is this big coat and then my bag just slips in over it 
But that's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I am very much enjoying my bag. Let me know if you have this Uniqlo bag as well. Or if you're thinking about buying it, what's putting you off, what colour you're going to go for. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.